Hi everyone, it's Veronica, and I am here with my project for the Heartfelt Creations collab with Poet Spice for the month of October. This is a year-long collab, and we will be finishing up in December. If you would like to participate, you still have time to do so. Just go ahead and create with those heartfelt products that you have. It could be the papers, the stamps, the dies, and then tag your um, video with hashtag heartfelt poet spice 2018 so that we can follow along check you out and be inspired okay um for today's project i used my coffee talk paper when we started this collab in january i expressed to you what a difficult time I had cutting into this paper. This collection has been discontinued. So I've been hoarding this paper for a long time. It was just so rich in color and so pretty. I just could not bring a pair of scissors to it. But when this collab came along, I said, okay, you need to do something. So this was perfect. And I do not regret it because I have created so many wonderful projects with this collection. So much so that this is what I have left. This is one full sheet. And that's the back side. And I do have cutouts left. So I put everything here, which I will be using eventually, but cutouts like these that I can make cards or anything out of. So this is what it looks like inside. There were little tags, just all kinds of stuff. And then there were scraps that I kept as well. All right, and along with what I created today, I also use this paper from Joann's many moons ago, this Chocolate Lovers collection. And I used uh, from Honeybee Stamps, these, what do they call these? Dew drops, dew drops. The coffee dew drops. And I'm sorry for the glare. And this is the tiny bubbles. They make the cutest little sound. I also use the pockets from Target. And by now I'm sure you have guessed what I created. And I'm just moving everything. I used my Thin Lit Dyes by Caitlin Lazardi for my TN and the Sizzix Bigs Dye. Okay, and here is my TN. And I thought it turned out so cute. And there's a glare because of this is laminated. But here's the back side. I just thought it turned out adorable. And I just had to use this sheet. I just love this. And this was one of the pieces off of one of the scraps I had, so I cut that out. And then this was one of the cutouts and glued both of those on. And then I added a dangle on the side with some uh, tassels, added some ribbon, and I also added a cameo. Okay, so let me give you a peek inside. All right, inside cover, I did not put anything there. I did do a shaker. I hope that glare is not too bad. I am so sorry. But I used a lot of sequins that I already had, and then you see the dew drops in there, and you can see the bubbles, the tiny bubbles. I, uh, right here in the corner. I was about to say any other time they gather at the bottom. I saw um, Tasha from Tasha's Craft Corner when she did this partial um, to add a partial dashboard and her um, shaker and I thought I would try that so I like the way that turned out. So we have a partial dashboard here. Now with the inserts I used um, 
some inserts that I found at Michael's because I just love them. But what I had to do was take the cover off. The reason I ended up using the chocolate lover's paper is because with um, a lot of the papers, the backs and the fronts, of course, were different. But in some instances, and I was trying to find my, uh, oh, here it is. In some instances, when you did the back, when you cut out for one piece, the opposite side was not going to work out. So I didn't want that opposite side showing if it wasn't kind of cohesive with the front, if that makes sense. So what I did was just use the chocolate paper and then I took the cutouts and cut those out and glued them on the front. So that's how that turned out. This first insert is an, a non-dated calendar. And the second one, well, this is the other side of the shaker. So here's another dashboard. Okay, and then this is the second one. This was another cutout. And this is just um, dotted paper. Here is the page marker. And I added a tab at the top and that, um, that actually came from a Spellbinders die, I think. Yeah, I'm sure it did. Then on the back side, I added one of those target pockets and just put some um, stickers in that can be used in the calendar and in the, the planner portion itself. And then for the next piece, I created the folder using the thin lits dies. I added a pocket to the front and that is one of the dies. That's the inside of the folder. And then this is the last insert, which is plain paper. I cut out um, from some of the paper, some of the scraps I had, these two little coffee cups, added snow text to those. And these were some metallic clips I already had. And I added another target pocket in the back and just added some tags. So that is the TN. I'm really having fun making these. I have some more that I want to do, which will be such fun. So that is the TN. And the other dies I forgot to pull, but I had to do it y'all. I had to give my TN a friend. So this is the Our Daily Bread Designs tote. Love, love, love it. Love, love, love it. In the pocket, uh, you can put a gift card in it. And then I just put the pen, which is a set of pens I had gotten from Dollar Tree, just put it in the pocket on the side. But I thought that turned out so stinking cute. So we put her back in here and I was really pushing it, trying to get pieces big enough to cut the uh, layers with, because again, you see I'm down to one full sheet, but even with this, it really wouldn't have mattered how it looked uh, on the other side since it was glued down. So that is my TN and her friend. Now, I also, uh, when I did my little sequin mix, I just overdid it and had too much. So I decided to create a card. Again, cutting a coffee cup out, but here's the sequins. And this is the die that I used, one that I had in my stash. This one, and thank you, Erica, because I saw that on your channel first. So there's these three pieces together, but it's amazing how many different pieces this cuts out. I was just kind of fooling around. So here's this piece right here that you can cut out. This one, which is like this. I was really just playing. And then this piece comes out which I ended up fooling around with that, trying to see how that looks. So that's that little 
border piece right there and I just layered it on top of one of the cutouts. So I will be using that uh, in a project. But this is the card that I created. I have not added a sentiment. I did use some foam that I had in my stash to uh, create the shaker, but I thought that was so cute. And even still, I still have some of the mix left. So we'll see what I do with it. And just added uh, a piece of bling I already had in my stash. And this is the inside. I have not added a sentiment because I don't know what I'm going to use it for, but I thought that turned out so adorable. So those are my projects for the month of October. I'm sorry, September. It feels like it's October already, which is great because it's cooling off. Yay. But thank you all so much for stopping by and watching. Please leave a comment. Um, I will have in the description box the links to all of the other ladies who are participating in the collab. Please make sure that you stop by and check out their projects for the month. There are some who also post on the 10th of the month. They will do the 10th and the 30th, the 10th by itself or the 30th by itself. And I'm just a 30th by itself. So thank you again for watching. I do appreciate all of you to all my new subscribers. Welcome to all my returning subscribers. Thank you. Happy crafting everyone.